Welcome to the last autocross of the season. All right, we are an hour north of Winnipeg, Manitoba, up in Gimli, Manitoba. And uh, it's hard to believe that three weeks ago, I was in Lincoln, which is, I don't know, seven, 800 miles south of here. And it was hot, at least when it wasn't raining. And uh, now, just a short time later, it's now three degrees Celsius. That's about 37 degrees Fahrenheit for, you, for my American friends. About 10 minutes east of here, it was snowing. So yeah, it's cold. And uh, the interesting thing is, I put, uh, I put back on uh, my uh, previously used rear tires, the ones that I used in testing in Lincoln, and uh, the front tires were completely dead, like they were all corded no good so i had these lying around these tires are not the size or the uh they're, they're definitely not the tire that i normally run on the front of the car i normally run a 20 inch high uh front hoosier tire these i bought in a hoosier discontinued sale and they are 22 and a half inches tall and uh, so uh, they're quite a bit taller than the tires I normally run. So I can't turn as sharp as I normally do. And not only that, it turns out that they are a rear tire. They're not even a front tire. <laughs> they're, uh, they've been sitting on my shelf for three years. They're unused, but they are three years old. They are a rear tire, not a front tire. And they are two and a half inches taller than the tires I normally use. But Today's event is just for shits and giggles. Uh, there's, uh, I'm already out of the championship because I skipped too many local events. I don't have, an, I don't have the minimum number of eight. Uh, and I wanted to run today, even though it's really cold, but it's kind of what we do up here in Canada. We uh, run in the cold sometimes. Uh, I've autocrossed in the snow. How many of you can say you've done that? Um, so uh yeah we're just gonna go out and have fun today the course is uh really sweepy they've they've used up every square inch of the space we have uh it doubles back on itself it has inside circles going uh and then outside circles going the opposite direction it's uh it's something else so hopefully that shows up on video uh, i hope i can get some good video for you guys today i'm not going to bother with the data acquisition system uh, it's just, you know, it's just more stuff. You gotta oh, go out there and you gotta mark your start and your finish and blah, blah, blah. I just wanna have fun. It's just a fun day. And uh, hopefully I can uh, bring all of you along and have some fun video to show after this is over. Uh, I have no idea what these tires are gonna be like. Uh, this actually right now is colder than what is recommended to even store these tires at, let alone drive on them. So this will be a very interesting day, I suspect. Uh, I hope it's not massively understeery. That's all I'm hoping for. I'd rather have oversteer, but anyways. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, the next video you see should be me uh, clicking into gear, snick, and taking off off the line. So we'll see you all then.
thing I haven't told you yet is uh, I normally load the car in and out of the trailer with these janky planks that are all twisted and, and uh, no good. And uh, those are particularly tricky uh, when they get wet. They're kind of slippery. Uh, well, the other day I realized that I have these beautiful aluminum channel pieces that I bought to use when I corner away in my car because I can they're the same height as my scales and I can roll the car off the scales and I can bounce the car up and down and stuff and then I can roll it nice and gently onto the scales and I thought wait a minute I think those are the same thickness as my planks let's check the width it turns out that the they are the same width same length as my planks uh, when bolted together so uh, here they are so you can see here it's, it's a pretty thick aluminum channel and uh, I bolted them so normally the scales go in between this piece and this piece and I bolted them together and uh, I put this uh, skateboard grip tape on here so we should have no traction issues so that's looking that's looking semi-professional right well the events over and uh, these rear tires used as front tires that didn't work very well they were really weird um, they would start off with nothing like just really no grip at all and uh, somewhere around the midpoint of the run they started getting at least some feeling in them but it was a weird feeling it was definitely not like normal uh, and then the last the very last bit of the run like the last slalom they'd start to get some decent grip but it was all too late uh, I don't know how I did I'm first or second I'm not sure it's very close like me and the CMOD car that are running are only thousands or a few thousands of a second apart. I don't, I don't know which one of us. We're both running like 68 threes, so I don't know where it is. They haven't announced yet. Uh, but anyways, uh, but the car ran good. Uh, my new torque table seemed to be working pretty good. And uh, well, I guess this is the last uh, that you're going to see of the car looking exactly like it does because, you know, I'm going to make changes to the roll bar and other things. So uh, anyways, uh, it's been a fun day. Car's always fun to drive and we'll see all of you guys later.